Hello and welcome back to Daily Dose of Stocks. Today I'll be talking about two stocks that have a lot in common. Which one I think is better and which one has surpassed the other one. Just a quick reminder before I get into the video, I'm not a registered financial advisor. So I have two stocks here, Riot Blockchain and Marathon Digital. Marathon Digital actually changed their name, they used to be Marathon Patent Group. So if you don't know what I'm talking about and you've heard of Marathon Patent Group, then you'll now you'll know what I'm talking about. Okay, anyways, into the video. So Riot Blockchain's up 6.8% today, and Marathon's up 11.4%. And if you look at their charts, they're actually moving very similar. At 11.35, Riot hit high for the day, and at 11.20, Marathon Digital hit a high for the day. If we look here, they had their drop at about 9.45, Marathon Digital, 9.45, hit their low. They both work with cryptocurrencies, specifically Bitcoin. So both of these stocks will follow Bitcoin when Bitcoin moves. So you can see that Bitcoin's up 3%, close to 3% today, Riot Blockchain's up 6.8%, and Marathon Digital's up 11.5%. I actually have a position in Riot. I have two shares. I was up all on them, and I did not sell. I could have waited for the dip to buy them, but I got FOMO, which means fear of missing out, and ended up purchasing the stock. So, anyways, as I was mentioning before, they will follow Bitcoin. If you look at the past month, Bitcoin's up 22%. Past month, Marathon Digital is up 76%, so we can actually see that it's roughly, it's not precise, but three times more than Bitcoin moves. Oh, like three and a half times more, because we can see here, they're up 11% on the day, and Bitcoin's up 2.8% on the day. And Riot's 33% on the run, so assume that they'll move one and a half times what Bitcoin moves. But this can also lead to huge price fluctuations. And also, Bitcoin is not the only thing that affects Riot's price. Other things that can affect Riot's price are massive sell-offs. Go to the three months. If we look here, they hit, went up to $80 a share and had huge sell-off down to under $40 a share. Marathon also did, but I don't think it was as high. And now they're up over what they were before. So I'm thinking of potentially transferring in some of the money from Riot back into Marathon. Well, not back into Marathon. I haven't had Marathon. But if Marathon drops a little bit, as they seem to be performing much better than Riot. On the year, they're up 10,600% and Riot's up 5,700%. And you could make the argument that Riot has more potential to grow even though that they have very similar charts. But I think that they'll both continue to grow at the current rates, and I think that Marathon will grow at twice as fast. And we can see that Marathon's a more resilient stock. They wouldn't dip as much. Well, nothing's for certain. But they did not dip as much, and they're already above what they were at their peak price, and Riot has failed to achieve that. They got a little bit close back up to where they were before, back in March, but they're still a long way away from it. So, one thing that I'm thinking about is potentially splitting up the money I have in Riot and buying one share of each to see where it goes. Because it all, most of it, as I said before, is affected by Bitcoin. And with a lot of predictions of Bitcoin hitting $100,000 by the end of the year, at a price of $60,000 a share, that's over 50%. With the current math that I was doing before, that could easily be close to 200% increase for Marathon, which would give them $150 a share. But obviously, as I said before, they're also affected by stock trading. So and they'd have walls at probably $100 a share, also probably at smaller walls at like 55 and 60 because they did go to 55 earlier and they've dropped off since then but it's normal for stocks to drop at this time because of the lunchtime sell-off because it's currently 11:50, and this is about the time that stocks will drop and anyways and with the riot if bitcoin does reach a hundred thousand dollars a share as i said before 
if they're moving up one and a half times more and Bitcoin goes up, say, about 60% or 50%, then you could easily see one and a half times 60%, so a 90% increase in price, which would bring us to about $100, give it to take a few dollars a share, which is still insane. So because of this, I actually think that Riot in the future will be less volatile than Marathon. So, I will, I will make a video later today, uh, just a YouTube short about opening up a position in Marathon Digital and possibly purchasing more of a different crypto. I have to look into other cryptos. If you have any ideas for stocks or cryptos for me to buy, just leave them in the comment section. If you like the video, make sure to subscribe, buy two stocks, and call me in the morning.